My friends, welcome to the first of many, many collabs. Although I don't really know if you can actually call them collabs, considering it's very much like the Psy Games universe, very much like our Jita, our Monica, our Arisa. And so the upcoming update, the upcoming events, as well as the new characters, they will be kind of coming in that sort of vein. Hi. Welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the new update Mysteria Friends collab kind of thing. I mean, they call it a crossover event, but a lot of this is going to be very, very permanent. And so with that, let's jump right into the content, starting with our new character, our new mage, Anne. Now, before I go into the content itself, I do want to like kind of set the theme, right? We've got Anne over here, Princess of Kingdom of Mysteria. If I come over here to this Wikipedia tab, what you are going to see here is Mararia, friends. So essentially, it is very much connected to the IP of Rage of Bahamut. And so if you guys were wondering where these characters are coming from, Anne, Greya, Lou, etc., this is it, Mararia, friends. All right, so with that said, let's head back over to the content update. Our new character, Anne, she is, she's pretty exciting let me put it that way so in a nutshell she is going to be another fantastic mage if you think about when like yoko was released like she just kind of blew everything away and is very much like that so let me take you guys through a quick walkthrough of Anne herself as you can see this one is Anne, and let's take a look at her skills to kick things off so with her union burst deterrent slash she inflicts massive magic damage to the frontmost enemy and also applies a large magic attack buff to all allies that have been granted the heroic spirits blessing so to be honest this yubi is quite straightforward forward. She does massive magic damage and if your allies have a particular buff which is called Heroic Spirit's Blessing then those allies will get a large magic attack buff. And how exactly do we get this buff? It's actually on the skill 2 over here. So as you can see, with skill 2 Princess Calling, she grants the Heroic Spirit's Blessing to all allies who deal magic damage. So it's very much like your Kyoka, it's going to be like your Kiaru, it's going to be like your Ilya. For the most part, our tanks are actually doing physical damage up until Oedo Kuka. And so if I'm not wrong, Oedo Kuka actually does magic damage on her normal attacks. And therefore, that gives her access to this Heroic Spirit's Blessing. I am not saying whether that is a good idea or not i'm just saying that that is a possibility okay so for all of the allies who deal magical damage they get heroic spirits blessing they also get a large magic attack buff as well as a small action speed buff and then on top of that with the union burst they also get another large magic attack buff so you guys can kind of see why this is kind of getting cracked out a little bit and why Anne is actually so sought after even like i think even six to eight to th potentially 12 months down the line all i can say is that if i come over to the cn bros spreadsheet you will see Anne with nanaka and with halloween kyoka we've got the halloween mimi over here as well and then if i scroll down and 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 she is pretty much in every single competent magic team and so yeah hopefully from a cb perspective that demonstrates how important she is going to be for you cb tryhards but coming back over to her skills with her skill one it is simply a medium magic damage she is very much as you can tell like a mage and a mage dps support she is not only going to do damage she is also going to buff everybody around her including herself and do even more damage going through to her ex skill magic attack up like if it was literally anything else i'd be pretty mad bond level bonus even more magic attack and then with the attack pattern we've got two into one so you've got the magic attack buff and then going into your magic attack and then you've got a relatively decent loop a normal attack normal attack into skill two buff into normal attack into a skill one so what this means is that your skill two is going to have a decent amount of uptime considering it lasts about 12 seconds however it just really means that you've got to get your UBs right off when you do have the heroic spirits blessing so there is like a little bit of fine control there in terms of arena I do believe she may see some use but she's not going to see like overwhelmingly dominating use like your Ilya or like your Kyoka although Kyoka isn't actually used overly much these days she is certainly not going to be like your Muimi or your Christina who sees play in essentially every single type of content but anytime you need magical DPS and is pretty much going to be there now so with all of that being said should you roll for Anne. Yes, if you're a hardcore sweaty CB tryhard who does not have all of the other mages. So what I mean by that is that you need to have Kyoka, you need to have Ilya, you need to have Akari, Yori, Kiaru, Summer Kiaru, Anna with UE. And if you sweaty tryhards don't have like one of these characters, there's a probably a qu a quite a high chance that your guild leader is going to get you to pull for Anne. As for me personally, I don't know if I'm going to pull for Anne. I'm actually steering on the side of no, considering she is actually going to be a permanent unit 
despite being a crossover, right? So like I said, very much like your Arisa, very much like your Monica. So yeah, that's pretty much Anne in a nutshell. In summary, if you're going to pull her, you'll know. Otherwise, for the vast majority of players, you could technically skip her because she's permanent and limited hell is coming up. However, there is going to be about a three to four month gap before we start rolling again. And I don't know if I can control myself. I, I don't know, man. All right, so with that being said, let's move on to the Twin Flowers of Astrum, which is the story event that is going to come featuring the three Manari, oh, sorry, Mysteria friends. So here you can see Greya on the right-hand side as well as Lou on the left-hand side, who are also featured, actually, in Manaria friends. Greya is even on the promotional image over here. And then you've got Lou down here. All right, so coming back over here, essentially, it is your story event in which we're going to be getting some nice farmable shards. Oh my god, it's actually so good. Hopefully by now you guys already know how these events work you've got your normal you've got your hard you got your vh very hard stage as well as the special difficulty and then with all of these medals you can roll for things such as equipment shards da potentially maybe not in this one actually mana etc through those prize boxes and speaking of prizes we've got lou over here as the welfare character although look at her like she's so freaking cute we can't call that welfare and so i'm not going to do a massive evaluation of lou essentially she is a mage that scales according to how many of these these little things she summons and in terms of her utility you might see her like once or twice or a couple of times with x chicka loops so for example over here we've got summer saren we've got the nenica we've got the summer eo and we've got the x chicka and you can see that Lou is also featured here, which is pretty cool. However, to be honest, Lou is kind of like, uh, you can farm for her if you want, but you don't have to. So rather than being like a Summer Kokoro or a New Year's Rei, she is more of like a Summer Mifuyu. We are pretty much guaranteed to get her up to three stars. And if you want to try hard a little bit, refresh a little bit, you could probably get her to four. All I'm saying is that generally speaking, you probably won't have to use her overly much. Okay, so that's Lou. Let's come down here. We've got more stories event exclusive stories with the crossover with Mysteria friends. I don't know. I think it's really cool. I really love the concept of like Arisa and Monica. Just stuff like that, right? Like so how Pekrin went into the Dragalia Lost lore. Massive fan of crossovers right here. Okay, and so in terms of who is going to be farmable, we've got Lou as we just spoke about, but we've also got Eo. Now, this is actually quite an important point because for a lot of people, actually for everybody, Eo literally just got her UE released. But on top of that, after the clan battle rewards get released for CB14, aka the upcoming one, we're also going to be getting EO shards there. Combining all of that, plus this one over here, plus this, plus the fact that it's farmable, etc., etc., I would say that if you are actually spending your clan coins on EO, just pause for a moment and consider like your Makoto, if not like your Yori, because we are in fact about to be bombarded with a whole bunch of EO shards. All right, so that is pretty sick. Moving on, we've got the March clan battle. Oh my god. The Minotaurus. This guy is tough. Well, he was tough. He was tough back then. He just like really, really chunked us like this mother effing Red Bull. He actually just made so many of us cry. And I think he might have led to a lot of people quitting, but it's quite nice to see them again. It just gives me a very, very nostalgic feeling. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you guys are newer to the game, do expect some of your characters to die here. But otherwise, with the release of some of the more modern characters, as well as the UE system, you should be okay. All right, so with that, let's scroll down. We've got normal quest drops times two. Oh man, this is probably my favorite update of the entire patch. My guys, we are finally getting the furniture update where the max levels are gonna be increased from 10 up to 13. So that includes the mana creation, the potion creation for EXP. We've got the snack table for your stamina as well as Karen for the skip tickets. Oh baby. But yeah, aside from that, we've got the normal quest times two, we've got the hard quest times two, and that is going to wrap up everything in this update. Cool, honestly, cool. I. <laughs> I just really need to figure out whether I want to roll for Anne or not. And so with that, my guys, I'm going to pass on my insecurity to you guys. You guys let me know if you're going to be rolling for Anne. And if you guys do end up dropping a comment down below, I would really appreciate that. So thank you guys so much. But otherwise, if you did like the content of this video, please consider a like. And if you would like to see more, please consider a subscribe. And so as Anne once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.